Brad Nessler joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. No weather can affect us here today. We're in the dome for our contest between the Central Michigan Chippewas and the Horned Frogs of TCU. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Horned Frogs. The Chippewas may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? TCU is lucky to have such a force at defensive end. Offense is game planned around him, and I wouldn't expect to see many runs to his side. The rest of the defense is just as good, and they'll dominate in this game. I got to go with the favorite in this one. I love the horn frog. Central Michigan is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. He kicks off. Tucker fields it at the 17. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. We know that this quarterback's the star of this offense. So how do you think this defense is going to stop him today? If this team wants to stop him, they're going to have to send a lot of guys after him. This defensive line is going to have trouble getting to the quarterback if they only rush four. And when this kid has time to throw, at ah, at, ah, watch out. You're right, Coach. But keep this in mind, when they blitz, those receivers are on the outside, one-on-one -on -one in man coverage. And if there's any mismatch, you know this quarterback will find it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. The Horn Frog. Line up with a single set back to you. And he's going to be sacked. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on 24. TCU comes out in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. He throws left. Catches it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47. Oh, boy. That is a nice play on third down. The quarterback found his receiver, and they connected on a big play. Big? That's an understatement, Kirk. This completion keeps the kick team off the field and gives them a new set of depth. TCU lines up in a shotgun set. He lets it go, and he's still on his feet. And a great pass play that time. And here we see just how much this defense respects the running game. They got sucked in here on the play action and got beat on the pass. Good play call. First down. TCU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Let's it fly. Caught. Couldn't get anything out of that. Makes the catch. No gain on the play. From the 21-yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. The Horn Frog line up in an eye formation. Caught. And he's level at the 20. He picks up a yard on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Horn Frog set up in the gun. He's drilled as he throws. He was under some pressure there. Well, sometimes as a quarterback, you have so many things to worry about. What's the coverage? Where's the pressure coming from? And so on, that you lose focus at times throwing a catchable ball. Here, he just missed the target. This will make it a field goal game. The kick is up, and he got it. TCU to kick. He sends it downfield. Stanley takes it to 14. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. This drive will start at the 31-yard line. Central Michigan comes out in the shotgun, moves up in the pocket, across the middle. 
They can't connect. Incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. From their own 31-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Central Michigan in a four-wide set. Allen lets it fly. Incomplete pass. The blitz was very effective that time. Yep, they brought the house, and it was all he could do to get the ball out of there. Third and ten. Ball on their own 31. The Chippewa with four receivers. He drops back. Short toss. Tackle at the 33-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are... Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Central Michigan comes out in the shotgun. They'll throw for it. And they couldn't hook up on that one. They turn the ball over after going for it on fourth down. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach Lee Corso. It's a picture perfect day as we get set for today's contest between the Oregon Ducks and the Nittany Lions of Penn State. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. Here come the Nittany Lions. The Nittany Lion look ready to come in here and get the upset. Kirk, how do you think this one will play out? Penn State is going to have a tough time defending this rushing attack and this running back. It's very important that they shut him down and keep the ball out of his hands if they expect to have a chance in this game. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. I'm picking the Oregon Ducks. Penn State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. White takes from the 10. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. The offense will take over at the 29-yard line. Number 14, back in the gun, Renfro. On the inside handoff, Renfro gains about a yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Renfro, again, good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. One yard loss on the play. Third it's third and ten. and ten. Ball on the 29. They line up in the shotgun. He's looking to pass. Looks. He fires left side. Incomplete. So they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. It's third down. Number 14 lines up with five wide out. Moves up in the pocket. Let's it fly. Elamimian with the tackle at the 47. Nice play call to get him the conversion. When a team converts on third down, they can really frustrate a defense. When they converted third and long, it just makes them sick. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. Renfro takes a handoff. I can't believe he held on to the ball after that hit. Yeah, and I don't even think he saw that hit coming. Well, I can't argue with this decision. Here are our players of the game. The Ducks line up with four wideouts. They hand it off again. Tackle made at the 41. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. This defense faces another third down. They'll work from the 
shotgun. Across the middle. It falls incomplete. Calm down, sweetheart. Quit thinking so much and just throw the football. I don't know if he's thinking too much. He just let that pass get away from him. No, no. I can tell when a quarterback is thinking too much. Just take the snap, drop back, and fire it. You're all right if you do that. I promise you. Looking to throw. And that one's fallen incomplete. And that stop really gives these guys a swing of momentum, fellas. You bet, Brad. That defensive play really ignited a fire on the sideline. Yeah, this is a great chance for the offense now to build off that momentum and put some crucial points on the board. Collins drops back to pass. Throws. They can't connect. Incomplete. Barron was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. Second down. Ball on the 41 yard line. Single set backfield. He drops back. And he's got him again. Tackle at the 47-yard line. And a nice pass to the tight end. Yeah, this is what I like. Move the ball down the field. Use that nice and steady intermediate passing game. It's first and 10. The Nittany Lion. Come out the shotgun. He delivers. His receiver has it. Nice little pitch and catch with a wideout. Quarterback and receivers spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice, just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Penn State sets up in the eye. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Touchdown, and that puts them on top. That was just awesome. Down by three, and they find a way to get it into the end zone. They weren't thinking overtime for one second, Kirk. They were thinking victory. And that's a big, 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 big touchdown. They'll line up for the point after. And he converts the extra point. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Penn State 14, Oregon 10. Penn State is lining up to kick this one off. White and Moss set to return. And it's a short kickoff. Moss takes from the 10. It's on the ground. Picks up the loose ball. I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. Due to all the rain, we're going to see some slippery footing out there tonight with the Brigham Young Cougars and the Bearcats of Cincinnati. Well, folks, we're excited to bring you what appears to be another great gridiron matchup. And here come the Bearcats. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Cincinnati knows all too well about playmakers as they have one of their own at the running back position. This guy's got way too much talent to be contained. Lee, I think he'll lead them to a close victory. I'm smelling something, and it's an upset. Here comes the Cougar, sweetheart. Kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. And this one's away. Williams takes it at the 16. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. One of the reasons I've been looking forward to this game is to see this safety play. Watching him live is probably much better than watching him on TV, don't you think, guys? This kid is a great defensive back. He's a vicious hitter. He's a great leader. He's good in pass defense. And when it all comes down to it, he does it all. I think this guy's going to have a big game today. I think we'll see at least one interception from him today. You heard it from Kirk Herbstreit. I like the prediction. The Cougs line up in a 3-4. Play! Tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Third 
Third and 12. The Bearcats have five receivers on this play. He looks, looking long, down the left side. Singleton was the intended target on the play, and that'll make it fourth down. The Bearcats line up to punt. McGee awaits the snap. McGee punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. Robinson. Takes it to 16. Just couldn't break free on that one. Now, Brad, he didn't have a lot of open field to run, but he did a nice job of making something out of nothing. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 22. The Cougar line up with four wide out. Throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. Wow, you don't get any more open than that. Right now, the quarterback cannot believe he just missed his man. That had big play written all over it. Second and 10, ball of the 22. Brigham Young sets up with four receivers. Under pressure, Young is going to be sacked for a loss. Third down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 17. The Bearcats come out in a 34 defense. Young unloads. Incomplete pass. Well, the defense could tall there. When well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Cincinnati comes out in the shotgun. Over the middle. Picked off from the tip. And they come up with another turnover. Yeah, the 